John and welcome to John's Box and to my next video. It's a kind of a personal uh, reflection of my school days. So um, most of you may not be that interested in this unless you attended uh, my senior high school, which was Park School in Swindon. Now, a few days ago, I was run rummaging through a box of uh, old stuff from my teenage years and I came across some interesting things and uh, including school things and I came across um, some old school exercise books um, this is in fact my maths book uh, teacher was somebody called Mr. Smith I was in 5S1 and uh, looking through it um, well, I was quite amazed at my mathematical skills, or rather more, more lack of my mathematical skills. Um, just to show you one or two examples there. But more importantly, I came across this book, Through Learning to Service, which was written um, and published in 1980 it was written by our headmaster Philip A. Coggin. A little bit about it in just a moment. Um, if you don't remember me, well I attended uh, Park Senior High School between 1980 and 1983 shortly before it was closed and this is a photo of me I think from 1981. So just a bit of background, the school started as a grammar school in 1960 and then became a secondary high school following education changes in 1965 with the abolition of the 11 plus I believe. If I'm wrong, put me right there. So um, now onto this book which I think may be one of very few left in in the world <laughs> um, if you've got a book like this then uh, let me know in the comments I was fortunate enough um, I must I don't know who bought it, it cost 75 pence um, entitled through learning to service that was the school motto and written by uh, our head teacher who had an OBE and uh, MA so he was he'd been knighted actually in 1979 so this book is very detailed um, around about 100 pages and the aim of this video is to tell you or at least read to you some of its fragments now if you don't remember uh, Mr. Coggin um, he retired actually around 1980 81 he'd been with the school since its opening since its beginnings uh, he was taken over by Mr. Hudspeth now I'll show you a photo of Mr. Coggin Right. Uh, I doubt if he is still alive. He retired in 1981, as I mentioned, so he was either 65 or 60 at the time. Although I have found books on Amazon, uh, which he actually wrote, including the British occupation of Iceland. So um, I don't know uh, when he died. If he died, I did try and look it up on the internet, but I couldn't find any information maybe somebody could fill me in so within park school there were four houses and the aim of these houses was to promote among other community service 
The houses um, were dedicated to Group Captain Leonard Cheshire, VC. That was Cheshire House, Baron Fraser of Lonsdale, Fraser House, Lady Edwina Mountbatten, uh, Mountbatten House, and Dr. Albert Schweitzer. That was the house um, I actually belonged to. And um, when reading this book, um, there was a lot of correspondence between these people these four people mentioned and uh, Philip Coggin. Um, I'll, 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 uh, I will read some of those fragments in later editions of this series, I think of six or maybe 10 videos. However, uh, today I want to read a few fragments um, about two clubs which existed in the school there were many others of course but there are two particularly that i'd like to uh, tell you about and which are actually relevant um nowadays so they were you could say they were kind of pioneers of the technology we've got today so one was the computer club which started in 1971 in fact so um, over 50 years ago there was actually a computer club at the school and uh, it went on to increase in size so I'll just read a little bit um, about this computer club um, I hope I've got it so here we have it I found a section about the computer club hope this won't sound too boring uh, one of its first achievements of so one of the first achievements of the computer club which was started by the maths department uh, its first achievement was to write a program to enable up to 200 parents to have five or ten minute interviews with up to six of the 40 or so members of staff so not content with this the program writers have usually helped to run the evening since all members of staff are busy interviewing parents these arrangements have been immensely appreciated by parents who no longer have to wait in queues to see particular teachers and can even ask for interviews to be arranged between certain times so that they can be fitted in with the demands of shift work etc so it's rather like today um, making online appointments to see your doctor, dentist, or of course your teacher. So it now it then it went on to say um, there's been very active. The club now has facilities for writing and running. This is 1971, 1972. This is this was written by Dr. by David Morris. Uh, the club now has facilities for writing and running computer programs in both basic, Algol, Autocode and Cecil languages at the Swindon College and Bristol Polytechnic. So there's a lot of uh, technical stuff. Uh, also, other programs have been written by the club members from simple ones for working out multiplication tables to more complicated ones like working out an appointment system for the school parents evening, as I already mentioned. And the computer club uh, developed uh, even more and uh, then um, something very interesting uh, as of 1980 the computer club is operating as a self-help group of pupils using the school's 380z microcomputer during lunch times break times and evenings until about 6 p.m. when they are finally thrown out and the doors locked well that's how difficult it was to get kids away from computers nothing has changed since then um and one more thing one final credit must be made back in 1971 when there were no such things as a pocket calculator digital watch or any other such microprocessor control device mr brian dyer one of the teachers there had the foresight to see the usefulness of introducing computing to park he has to be thanked most heartily for starting the ball rolling and for the time and effort by him in the evenings at Swindon College. There you are, computer club, active computer club, over uh, started 50 years ago and continued to the school's end, which was around the mid to late 1980s. 
So the next such club was the Park Video Tape Unit, as it was called. It was uh, opened even earlier. It was in 1970s um, when the parents so in 1970 when the parents association presented the school with a video tape recorder. That must have been huge, I guess. Um, and that opened up various possibilities and to use it not only um, within the school but um, outside and beyond the schools at public events within Swindon then. Uh, Mr Coggin writes, apart from its work inside the school of recording events and taping school broadcasts for showing at convenient times, the unit has undertaken a number of projects in the town recording interviews, discussions and events, editing the tape and subsequently showing it at a public meeting. And then it uh, mentions a particular um, example of public work. I subsequently saw a tape made at Birdrop Hospital and if my memory serves me well, this was a product of the video unit and was of a high quality with sensitivity for the subject, so uh, something for YouTubers to consider. Um, also, the video unit played a leading role at meetings, some of which were held at the Resource Centre in Park School. I'll show you a photo of that actually. There's a picture of the school, and here's a picture. There's also the sixth form block, it was called, what we call the Resource Centre, which was later built on to the school. Um, they played a leading part at meetings, some of which were held, I'm, I've read that. And also they mentioned the Community Television Association was in its early days and their activity at the open air event, A Town at Work and Play, September 1973. And this was a further feather in their caps. Maybe this uh, Community Television Association was a father, forefather to Swindon Viewpoint Television. So there you have it, through learning to service, uh, from small acorns, oak trees grow, there you are. Um, I hope here in the next few weeks I'll read you some other fragments, there's a lot of interesting stuff in this book, if you've got any questions or uh, about it, uh, let me know, uh, send me some comments and I'll try and answer them. Um, particularly if you belong to the Park School uh, Facebook group, which this video is primarily intended for. There you have it. Thank you very much. Hope I haven't bored you. And um, thanks again for staying with me to the end. Till the next time. Bye for now. Well, I'm just looking for my ball.